Hey there, coming at you with a smarter sculpted physique exercise, and I want to show you a variation on flat flies, uh, flat dumbbell flies. And this is a variation I was reminded I wanted to shoot this video because I was re-watching Pump and Iron again for like the 58th time. And right near the beginning of the, of the movie, it shows Arnold doing flat flies. And if you watch closely, you'll see that his knees are way up in the air, which means his feet are on the end of the bench, which is how I have almost always advocated doing flat flies and I've been attacked for saying so, but people do not understand about excitation thresholds and fiber recruitment. When you put your feet up on the end of the bench for something like a flat fly, you create what I call a joint stress transfer. And when you transfer the stress from the joints where the, where the knees and hips can no longer contribute to stabilization, you put more stress transferred to the shoulder joint, which means you're more likely to recruit the pectoralis in terms of um, full fiber recruitment. <clears throat> so that's the way that works. And there's research on that in my book, The Able Approach, about functional differentiation and efficient lines of action and things like that. You can look at the research, I won't bore you with it. But the way it works is you'll see most people, they want to do a flat fly with their feet planted on the ground. And that variation, it's okay. That variation of a modified fly, it's okay, but to be even more efficient and to get better, more effective fiber recruitment from the pecs, try with the feet up on the end of the bench, and you never come all the way down. Never go past shoulder. Above the eyes for presses and flies. Bam. All right. And... So by putting your feet up on the end of the bench, you create an effective joint stress transfer. And because now all the stability goes to the shoulder, you're more likely to more effectively recruit the muscle fibers of the chest as well. The other thing, just as a point of contention for me, someone with four decades experience in the gym, please don't clang the weights together at the top. It's not necessary and it's not effective um, for getting the most of your contraction. So, you don't come up in a fly and bang the dumbbells together just so you can keep count of how many reps you're doing. Again, as reference, check out Pumping Iron, the movie. Right in the beginning sequences of the movie, you'll see Arnold doing flat flies with his feet up on the bench, and you'll be able to see the effects of that when the camera pans down to his uh, Olympia, Olympia class uh, physique doing the chest flies, and you see all the striations and everything. So. That's a flat fly with feet up on the bench to create joint stress transfer to get a more effective line of action, which then produces better muscle fiber recruitment for the chest. Little tricks of the trade there. So stay tuned. We got more coming at you in the Smarter Sculpted Physique TV.